Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Uh, we continue on the chart adventure. This is uh, video number six in that series. Um, and there is quite a lot to cover with when it comes to charting in NAV, a lot of different charts. Um, but in this particular video, what we want to do is go over finance performance. Uh, this, this chart over here that we're looking at. It's similar to the other performance charts that we looked at, um, the inventory, sales and purchase. However, um, there is some significant difference uh, and we'll, we'll get into that as we're creating it. But the finance performance chart is based on something called account schedules. So uh, what I want to do is create a finance performance chart that shows the gross profit, uh, revenue and cost of goods sold uh, for the coffee mug over periods. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly create that. So I go into select chart. And I obviously don't have this chart because I haven't created it yet. Um, but in order to do that, I'll just hit new. And I get a new account schedules chart set up. Here I'm going to call this uh, coffee mug gross profit. And the account schedule that I'm going to pick. So um, when, I'm a selecti when I'm selecting this account schedule here, I'm actually looking up into a feature that has been within the system for a very long time, uh, something called account schedules. Uh, they were originally used to create financial statements uh, and you can display them live. Uh, and now it's been connected into the finance performance um, chart. So if I drill into here, I'm going to get a lot of examples and you can see most of them are financial statement, you know, ish. So like balance sheet, uh, income statement, etc. But I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it the coffee mug gross profit. Profit, if I can spell. And in the default column layout and analysis view, I'm just going to leave them blank for now. Uh, and now I actually need to put in the rows. So I go into edit schedule and I get a list of rows to put. This is similar to the other uh, performance charts where we put in the item rows uh, and we could put in customers or vendors. But in this case, we're actually putting in posting accounts or straight from the chart of account. So I'm gonna put here in revenue and the totaling type is going to be a total account from the chart of accounts. And I get a lookup into chart of accounts. I just pick here the total revenue. So that's right here. So that should get me the entire revenue. Uh, and the next line I put in cost goods sold. That's also a totaling account straight from chart of accounts. And this one is going to be total cost, like so. Uh, and finally, I have the gross profit. And that is going to be a formula. And that's basically, and bear with me on this one, I'm actually going to do it like 10, which is row 10 plus row 20. So row 10 is revenue and row 20 is cost of goods sold. And why am I plussing this together? Uh, the reason is that the revenue is reported on the chart of accounts as negative. And I'm actually going to turn that sign around because I want it to show positive. So I click this button here, show opposite sign. The cost of goods sold on the chart of accounts is positive because it's debit. And I'm gonna turn that one around as well because I want to show the opposite sign. I want the cost to be negative in my chart. And the gross profit, if I add a negative and a positive, I will get a, a negative when the revenue is greater. Um, so I'm gonna turn that one around too. And um, if you understand the debits and credits and the negatives and positive in chart of account, you'll understand 
which side is going to what you know what sign and uh, yeah, I would just recommend that you try it out and just see how it looks uh, until you get it right um, but anyways hopefully this is right for me <laughs> I'll hit OK and OK again so now I've selected the account schedule that I just created and I need to select a column layout like which columns are we now going to show for uh, these three lines or three rows I'm going to create a new one just hit new here and we're going to call it net change net change and the way that's going to look if I get into edit column layout say, uh, setup is that there's going to be one column called net change and the column type here is just going to be net change uh, so basically what that is it's going to be the amount or the net change within the period that I'm looking at so on the chart I'll probably have periods going across the x axis and it's going to show me the total amount for those periods for those three lines so and I, I only want to see that I could actually have more here and they would then just show up next to each other on the chart uh, but for simplicity's sake, we're just going to pick one. And I'll hit OK here. See, like so. And let me just see here. I think I hit Enter way too many times. Go in here, pick the newly created net change, and now it actually populates the measures. So for the measures I have the revenue net change, which is a column, cost of goods sold net change, and gross profit net change. Now I'd like to show the gross profit as a line. So and you'll see it in a bit, at least looks nicer. And then we have it like this. So I hit OK. And OK again. And here I have my chart. Um, I'm gonna look at months, like so. So now I'm looking at the uh, January 2018 and I can see my revenue is 159,000 and my cost of goods sold is 196,000 so my gross profit is negative it's not good um, let's look at previous periods I can actually scroll into a previous year here and go all the way down to February so you can see that February 2017, things were nice. Uh, gross profit is positive and keeps being positive all the way through until this January moment here. And that might just mean that the, the month started out bad and might end up good. But uh, this is a very simple example of how to set up the uh, finance performance uh, chart uh, using account schedules. I hope you learned something. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.